Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for the super thanks, and thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Today I want to talk about The Sound of Freedom by Mel Gibson. It was released on July 4th. It's so far made $50 million on its first weekend. Uh, many of you probably know what it's about. A lot of, there's no advertisement. They don't want to advertise it, you guys. For good reason. <laughs> and Oprah is getting some heat lately for being partaking in that kind of adventures. I'll just put it that way. I'm going to be careful how I word myself here because I don't want this to get blocked or shadow banned or anything like that. So I'm just not, I'm just going to avoid certain words. I have to. <clears throat> so let's get some energy on that. Yeah, because they've been a little bit weird on me lately. Making people prove that they're over 18. I don't want that to happen. So it's a real headache for you guys. So let's get some energy on how Oprah's feeling about being outed. How does Oprah feel about being outed? How does she feel about being outed? And what's probably likely to happen? What's likely to happen for Oprah being outed? What's going to happen for Oprah being outed? Being outed. Well, she's going to lose love and she's going to lose it real quick. It's a negative emotional message. It's bad emotional news. Uh, basically, she it's just a negative announcement. She's going to feel very wounded and vulnerable right now that she's losing love and losing it fast. Let's get under the deck here. And she's wondering what are her options to get out of it. Yeah, privately, I got a three of wands. She thinks she can improve the situation. Naturally, she does because she's ha been under the gun for a long time. This is not new. Uh, Mel's been talking about this since the 90s. And uh, he even predicted his own uh, falling out with Hollywood back then. He kind of knew. He said there were some skittish things, things that didn't sit right with him. Uh, let's get to the challenging position. Ah, it's true. That's the problem. It's all true. True, true, true. They have a clarity of thought, and that's the challenging position. How am I going to get out of this, and what are my options? Uh, I don't want people to know the truth about me. Wow. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. Um, now this is a new conflict for her. So it's total honesty here. Uh, she's going to have to go with logic and reasoning how she can get through this breakthrough truth that's come out on her. Let's get to the next positions. And the last one right there. So focal point here. She wants her wish fulfillment. She's going to focus on how can I get what I want, what I want, what I want. Uh, she wants that s smug pleasures, you know, she wants an emotional high point for herself, contentment. So she wants to block it. She's going to probably try and lie. Uh, that's challenging because the ace of swords could be for good purposes or unnoble purposes. Even an upright position can have difficulty. It's the challenge. It's the conflict. So she's going to try and aim to get her smug pleasures, kind of like a duper's delight smile, probably a genie in the bottle card. Uh, let's see, can I pull out a genie out of this bottle and get, get what I want, uh, you know, so I can keep realizing my dreams? Uh, she, she did what she wanted. It was a, it, She did exactly what she wanted. She was the genie in the bottle. You didn't know what was going on. A uh, past position that doesn't serve is having repeated wars and conflicts and people bringing it up. Uh, staying in peace doesn't look like that's something that's going to happen for her. Uh, that's why it doesn't serve her because she's got this, it's it's a conflict that won't go away. It just keeps resurfacing and resurfacing. It's kind of like Meghan Markle's reputation. You just can't erase it. Too many people now. Let's get to the hidden energy. The war keeps going on. The war goes on. She wants to call it quits. She wants it to stop. This crisis continues. Her future is delayed. Uh-oh, I can't change the situation. I cannot change, rebirth, and transform myself. It's the past, and the past is haunting her. Going into the future, we have here lawyer card here. She's gonna get she's gonna lawyer up. She's got a lawyer here, and she's gonna lie, lie, lie with the lawyer, and she's gonna do what she wants as she pleases with that sword down and just lie her way through as she's always done. So she uses her lawyers. That's a lawyer card, the king of swords, and she's gonna be ruthless, cal you know, calculating in the worst sense. Not gonna do it for truth. The truth does not matter. It's the illusion that matters. We know that about Oprah. She lied about having been a Me Too person. Uh, she lied to uh, her students in Africa saying she was Me Too. 
uh, when they said they were me too, she said, so am I, I'm me too, too. And let me tell you how I rose up from being a me too. How dark and devious and devil energy is that when you never were a me too because her family spoke out. So the truth does not matter. The, the re strong regard for the truth, you can just throw that out the window. She has no regard for the truth whatsoever. It's all image, image, her dark malignant energy, and the war keeps going on. And she figures, I got money, I got options. What are those options? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to self-deluded myself here. That's self-delusion here. A seven of cups is nothing but your, your head's up in the, in the clouds. So she's going to keep her head up in the clouds. Uh, she's going to try to choose more wisely. She's going to think, what can I do? What can I do? A maybe card. So it's an emotional decision, and she's thinking, maybe this will work. I'll try another cup. I'll choose another cup, another emotional angle. I'll try to play on people's emotions because it's a cup. How can I play on empathy and emotions of other people to get them to back down with my lawyer and lie about it? Uh, the feelings in the situation, I gotta maintain my position here. I gotta maintain my job. I gotta maintain my greed and my money. So how am I gonna do that? Yeah, probably like she did in the past. She's gonna hold tight to her patterns of behavior and the situation. Mm. Yep, doesn't want people to know. She wants to hang on tight to her celebrity too. She wants everyone to keep keep looking at her as that at that big star who can heal you. She wants to cling on to the fame. She wants to cling on to future hope and that she can get through this, that she has the bird's eye view of life, that she could spark anything and get smug pleasures anytime she feels like it, that she's on the right path. So she's going to lie, 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 keep the star power and the extreme wealth. She doesn't want to lose it. I said that before in a, a previous spread that she didn't care what happened as long as she got her money and kept her fame. Here we go. Antisocial personality card with the high priestess and reverse. There's absolutely no aces in the feeling. She could care less who she hurts, harms, maims, lies to as long as she has her money and she has her fame and she can pick and choose as she chooses and she can lie for unknowable purposes and the war keeps going on. She creates wars, but she then wants to shut it down. Uh, pretending like nothing's going on. Very antisocial with the high priestess in reverse. Uh, the secret's out, though. Nothing she can do. So she's going to withdraw in silence right now. She's going to try and repress her own feelings. That's what they do. They say, oh, I don't remember. They do remember, but I don't remember. So they're going to repress it. Very superficial. All her relationships are incredibly superficial, and that secret's out. Complete antisocial personality position. It's also subconsciously driven, so she's always been that way. This was something that bred in her from a very young age as being an antisocial, total antisocial. And then we have here, yeah, she's an abuse of power. Abuse of power, uh, dictator. She's going to dictate what she wants. Here, this is someone who does power in a good way. This is someone who is respected, does it in the way it's supposed to be done. This is a positive, powerful position. This is someone who restores power Stands in power mode, worldly success, respected, uh, very much an initiator, but they do it with stability. They're grounded and they're stable. Not so much for, for, for uh, Oprah. There's so much peas in a pod here. Uh, she's not respected anymore. She's lost all respect and her worldly success is tanking. Uh, and now she needs to probably go silent. She's very unstable right now. It's abusive position. She's a negative presence, she's domineering, and it's an overreach of power. It's complete, total master manipulation, just what I was saying. I think she is a malignant narcissist. So that's master manipulation with domineering dictatorship. So she's going to try and fix it and clear it up, as she always has. Any surprise there? <clears throat> so that's what her angle, angle is going to be. It's always that way. And she's just going to deal with the consequence with the two of swords here. She's going to be in going in debate mode here. Okay, what can I do? I want to keep everyone blindfolded. I need to debate how I can do this because I really don't care what they think of me because my heart chakra is blocked with my arm. I really don't care. But I'm going to debate it and I'm going to think about which intellectual decision I should go through by choosing this emotional cup and playing on the, the public's emotions here. Even though the secret's out, I really don't care. I'm just going to dictate this. I just want my smug pleasures. That's really the, all that matters. And then we have here, yeah, she's going to think about the empathy. How can I make, get back? What an intellectual crossroad can I go down so they can think that I am intellectually uh, coined in and keyed into empathy? 
that I love others, they love me, that I understand the human condition, I understand pain and suffering, that I do things in nothing but the utmost benefit of, of everyone, because that is a King of Cups card. That King of Cups puts everyone's emotions, um, you know, and, and can be helpful, is truly helpful in most truthful way. So she's debating how she can play on emotions, the emotions and being an emotional leader. She wants to be in that emotional leadership position. She doesn't want people to know that she's antisocial and that she truly is not connected to spirit, that she doesn't care. She doesn't want people to know that she's in the dictator position, that she has lost her fame, that she is truly a, you know, a dark entity to be around. No, no, no. She's got to flip this around. She's going to do what Megan has always done for the last several years. And that is to try to control the narrative through PR. So she is actually hooking up with their lawyers as I speak. And she's looking to play on emotions. Let's play on emotions. Let's debate about how we can go about it. So that's what she's going to do. It's, it's always how she's operated because it's always, the war has always gone on. This war has always been there. So she's going to figure out a way. That's just what the wealthy do. I don't, she's not going to go into hiding with this. No, she's going to, she's going to do a power play as any uh, antisocial malignant narcissist would. They're going to try and crush the opponent, try and crush and, you know, devalue, demean, backpedal. They're going to do all the games they do. Oh, that's not true. That's a lie. Let me explain this. Over explain. So she's just going to lie some more because she does it with such absolute ease. With that emperor in reverse and with that the high priestess in reverse, she lies with absolute ease because all that matters is her position, her money, her home, her job, her wealth, maintaining and being possessive over her earthly goods. Earthly goods are very, very important to her. That is what the Four of Pentacles is. I got to maintain and cling on to dear life my earthly possessions and the money that keeps coming in. Uh, that's all she's about. So it's pretty much the same as before. But she's going to definitely lawyer up with that King of Swords that I have here. And she's going to lie, lie, lie. It doesn't matter. Absolute truth does not matter. It's just perception. So she's going to work on everyone's perception of her. She's going to do some sort of campaign of lies. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great Saturday. And until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.